Hi you guys. So today I wanted to try to do some education on garlic and the reproductive uh, ways that, well, garlic reproduces, I guess, both asexual and I guess it's just asexual since they're not um, cross-pollinating each other. So we know if you take a garlic bulb and you peel apart the individual cloves and plant them, you'll get a plant the next year. But there are other ways that they reproduce. And so I've kind of drawn a little map here, and let's go through each one. So here's an elephant garlic. So if we take each one of these cloves and plant them, next year we'll get um, a whole head of garlic. These little things that are attached off into the roots, like this one is down here, are called corms, C-O-R-M-S. They're hard little bulbs, really hard to eat. They're really not worth the time. But if you plant them, the following year you'll get something called a round, which is one whole round clove of garlic. Looks a lot like an onion, doesn't it? But the leaves on it, when they come up, are flat, so you know it's a garlic and not an onion. So if we plant this again, the following year we'll get one of these. So I keep the corms and I replant them so I can have elephant garlic in two years. Um, and it's just a really nice, easy way to do it. Just remember when you pull out these big, big rounds that uh, you need to plant them again, or you can eat them just like this. But if you want a full head, plant it again. So elephant garlic, the root has corms. The flower have bulbils. Some people spell it with an E-S. The proper spelling is B-U-L-B-I-L-S. And that's the scape and the flower. So if when the flower blooms, it will uh, give us tiny, tiny little cloves of garlic. And you can plant those. And I haven't done that yet, and I'm finding it very hard to get information on how long it takes for one of these to grow into a, a round and then into a head. So I'm gonna guess it's gonna take a few years. But, so this is a bulbeel in the flower, corms, and then this is a round. So that's it for the elephant garlic. Move that to the side. Now soft neck garlic also has bulbeels and they tend to show up part way through the stalk. So these are a lot bigger cloves um, then well actually they're bigger or smaller than the corms but you can plant these and if you do plant those the first year you will also get around but it's much much smaller and the stalk it sends up people often mistake this for a weed and they pull it because it doesn't look like a, a full garlic it looks just like blades of grass but you will get a round, and just to compare, here's the elephant garlic round the first year, and here's a regular garlic round the first year. So this is also true of a hard neck garlic, but they don't get these bull bills in the stalk. They produce them in the flower. So here's one that I'm allowing to flower, and then I'll get some of those bull bills in here, much like the um, elephant garlic. You can plant these. Again, I'm having a hard time finding information about how long it takes for these to develop into a round and then into a whole head of garlic the following year. I just don't know it. But that's the uh, the part. So the hard neck has bull bills in the flower. And here's what the flower looks like after it's just cut. We call these scapes. And so what I'm doing is I have a whole bunch in this uh, canning jar. I'm trying to force them and I'm going to see what happens. So I just thought the last time I did a garlic video I rushed through ex explanations and I thought you guys deserved more of an explanation and uh, to know, you know, save these bull bills, save the corms. Um, you can replant them right away too. When you pull this garlic like I just did the other day, you can just put this right back in the ground. They need to reach a cold temperature in order for it to start growing, so that's why we plant garlic in the fall. So when it overwinters, as long as it gets below 40 degrees Fahrenheit and whatever that is Celsius, 10 degrees Celsius or something, I don't know, I'll put it down below. Um, then it will grow the following year. If the winter is very mild, then it, it won't, uh, or at least many of them won't grow the following year. So 
that's what I know right now. If anybody knows how long it takes um, when you plant a hardneck bulbill or um, the elephant garlic bulbill until it becomes um, a round and then a garlic head, I would really like to know that. But So there's the, the parts of garlic, and um, I hope that was educational for you. And if anybody knows more than I do, please let me know in the comments. Thanks, you guys.